Hello Pisces, Narai here. Gonna do a reading for you guys. It is gonna be rather quick, at least I believe. Um, so this is gonna be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South node. Know to take what fits and leave the rest because this is not a personal reading. And yes, what doesn't resonate for you is probably for someone else. So let's go ahead and get started. Give me one moment. I was supposed to have done this video a couple of days ago and I didn't, but I feel that it was delayed for a reason. Messages and guidance for Pisces, please and thank you. Warnings, messages and guidance for Pisces, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Pisces, please and thank you. Hope you guys are well. Thank you in advance for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my video and channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what messages do we have for Pisces? I have the full in reverse. I feel like this is fear. Fear to move forward. Somebody may be standing us um, at a standstill, um, afraid to take a leap of faith, maybe because of something from the past or just the fear of not knowing. I have the three of pentacles. This is a collaboration. This is somebody working with you. This could be a collaboration at work. This could be a collaboration in life in regards to a relationship. the five of wands in reverse this is the end of conflict apparently there was conflict with someone and there's no more conflict um, and then I have the eight of cups in reverse eight of cups is you walking away from something uh, eight of cups in reverse could be walking back towards what you were leaving Or this just could be not moving away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling. Why is everything coming out in reverse? Okay. So again, the first card is the full card in reverse. I feel like there's some sort of fear because the full card is... To me, it's somebody that has a bit of courage because they're taking a leap of faith. They're trying something new. They're getting out of their comfort zone. But this is not getting out of your comfort zone. This is standing still, not moving forward. And it's almost like not moving forward is stopping you from meeting somebody um, that is willing to work with you in regards to your relationship and that there won't be conflict with this person and there will not be a need to move away from this person. But some of you have not made a, a personal discovery yet. You haven't had an epiphany. And I feel like some of you are kind of like stuck in the past and afraid to do anything because of what you experienced. Um, this could be seeing things from a different perspective. This is having an awakening, uh, not an awakening, an epiphany, a realization, some sort of mental clarity. Um, but I feel like you're just not seeing things in a manner that they need to be seen in because you're possibly just not ready. One momento, please, por favor. Okay. What message do we have for, 
for Pisces. I almost said Scorpio. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. If you do take a leap of faith, well, obviously you're not taking a leap of faith because some of you are still in a period of rest with the Four of Swords. This is you meditating, reflecting on things, possibly seeing uh, or noticing some patterns that you may have um, because you want to change them and make sure that you're not in this type of situation again. I have... the two of cups in reverse and I feel like some of you are scared of something not working out if you should move towards someone or allow somebody in uh, but this could be because of a breakup somebody was giving more than the other person um, but I have the the will of fortune this is your luck changing this is you doing something different this is you doing something different don't allow something that happened in the past to affect and stop you from progressing and um, interfere with your future because you could be allowing fear of something from the past that's already happened to stop you from meeting somebody that could be amazing. I have the tower card. There was a tower. The tower was meant to put you in a position to see things um, from a different perspective. Sometimes things fall apart because we need them to fall apart because they're not for us. And I had the, the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you are focused on your money right now. Mm. I have the Queen of Swords. This is you guys telling it how it is, having very direct communication, very clear and strong boundaries. I feel like a lot of you don't really express yourselves. And I feel like for some of you, somebody's kind of like waving the white flag of surrender, like, hey, can we not, can we, can we please talk and, and not do this anymore? But it's about how this person made you feel. It's about how this person did things in the past. It's about the fact that you, some of you don't want anything to do with this person and you would like to meet somebody new, but that fear, and I feel like some of you are very exhausted and have the judgment card. Some of you are going through an awakening and it's very painful and you're probably hurting unlike you've ever hurt before. And it's because you're going through some sort of awakening. Two more cards, Spirit, and then we're done with the reading, please, and thank you. Two more cards. Yeah. I have some of you still a little in your feels about something that didn't work out um, and somebody could be in their feelings for you and I feel like somebody might be trying to offer you something I don't feel like this is somebody new I feel like this uh, well excuse me I don't feel like this is somebody new for everyone I feel like for some of you where this is new you're still overtaken by the pain of what recently happened or what happened in the in the pa in the past that still lingers with you and then for others of you i feel like it is the person that you moved away from that's offering you something but all you can do is be like look but look at what you've done already your history proves that you're not reliable and your history proves and shows that you do not deserve a place in pisces life 
And then the last card I have um, is the Three of Wands. The Two of Wands is, is planning. The Three of Wands is planning and taking action. I think you guys are about to make a move. I don't know what that move is, but I feel like you guys are about to make a move. And I do not feel it's towards a past person. So this is what I'm going to leave you with. Um, I feel like for some of you, you dealt with somebody that kind of killed the fire or the passion within you. Um, and it's been really heavy on you guys. I feel like you've been really full of emotion. And I have the Ten of Wands. I feel like you guys are in the future going to walk away from things that feel like a burden a lot sooner than you have in the past. And that is what I have for you, Pisces. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I'm sorry this was so heavy. I feel like there's probably a lot of you that are dealing with some sort of pain. I do feel like something new is out there. Um, but a lot of the pain from the past is stopping you from moving forward. I think part of it is fear and that is okay. Just be cautious and take your time. Don't rush into anything and pay attention to the red flags. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that Pisces. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, love you. Bye.